Hello everyone, I'm the Sneezing Monkey and today I'm gonna try something slightly different. Uh, I'm gonna talk about video game news and some things that I treated recently and that seemed relevant to me. First of all, I just read 20 minutes ago that NBA Live 13 will not be finished. So that's quite unfortunate. The game has been stopped to be developed. It, it sounds unfortunate when you think about it because I mean it has a long heritage. I played I think NBA Live 97 on the Super Nintendo and I loved that game at that time, it was really great, but I think maybe it's not the right way to go for the game to release it annually. So I think what's going to happen is they're going to stop producing it now and then um, relaunch it after a while. Because it's great, you, know, you do a big relaunch and the brand is back after two, three, maybe four years or something. And also they had more time to develop the game. So I don't really think that NBA Life is gone, it's just that this particular game uh, will be not developed any further, so so looking forward to the relaunch in four years, I guess. So what else do we have here? Uh, I saw a 17-minute gameplay of Dead Space 3, and uh, that looked surprisingly dark. Actually, I enjoyed it, um, but I I just don't really get into the Dead Space series. I played the second part, the first one only short, but the second part I, I think I nearly finished. I played it just before the end. <laughs> And it was all right, and it was a really nice horror shooter, but I never got really into this whole arm um, that moves items up and down by, with gravity or something like this. And I also somehow found the controls quite complex. If you look, think about other games, uh, that is also a third person game, maybe something like Mass Effect, you know, the controls are really spot on and they feel really good. So I think they made a few mistakes, and especially the first part of Dead Space was really wobbly and felt horrible and not really playable. So Dead Space 3 hopefully will maybe slightly reinvent the series. They changed the setting a bit more with this ice planet that I think that got a lot of hate in the community because people want the game to be dark. That's what they expect from it. But in, in this particular gameplay video I saw and uh, I will put the link into the video right now, you, you can see it yourself. It's, it's, it just seems like the same thing again you know there's no real step forward there at least maybe a new gun or one new feature but there's no real development in the brand of dead space 3 at least that's how it feels to me anyway i will probably play it and give it a chance and see how it feels or maybe maybe i'm completely wrong and i'm judging n not the right thing from this from this trailer i've seen or this gameplay video but i hope it will be good and i hope they they find a way to reinvent the series successfully in a way um, what else is happening? I'm looking through my Twitter timeline actually right now, um, just because I tweet like game news and game related stuff that, that kind of is interesting to me. And so I thought I use that as a source for content basically. And oh yeah, I've tried on live. Um, that is this cloud gaming service, which sounds incredibly impressive when you first hear about it. At least when I heard about it, it's like you can play games without installing anything on your machine. That sounded incredibly exciting to me. This whole idea of streaming a game, but then again, I thought, because very important to me is the, are the controls. They have to feel right. And especially when you stream a game from a server, I thought the controls would be extremely wobbly and uh, not really playable. So I never really played it. And yesterday I just went on their website by chance more or less and saw that it's already launched in the UK and you just have to install the client and can try demos for free. So that was amazing. And I just did that. I think I played Darksiders 2 uh, and another game, uh, yeah, Batman Arkham City, because I played that before and I knew how it felt. Uh, and so I had a bit of a ju judgment if, if the controls really have a strong, you know, problems with the delay of streaming the content. But I have to say the controls felt right. The controls felt slightly delayed, but in a way that it's that you can forgive it. You know what I mean? For instance, if I'm playing Battlefield, I feel it feels extremely sluggish, and there's no real-time response to my actions that I do with my mouse. And a lot of people say, "Oh, that's due to the frame rate or whatever argument you have." I've played it on really powerful machines, and it's running here with 60 FPS. It's the same in Battlefield 3. It's the same in Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2. So I can't play that because it's very sluggish. Um, but everyone, of course, is free to like it. But for me, it's not right. Um, but with OnLive, it did the job. It did the trick and it, it works really well. 
The only downside to that that I didn't really see coming is that you can see that you're streaming the game. Uh, and that's a very weird feeling because it feels like you're playing a YouTube Let's Play. It looks like uh, the content you're looking at has been compressed into some kind of MPEG format or something like that. And, you know, if you have gradients in skies or something, they seem to break away and nearly pixelate because obviously the game has to keep the bitrate down, the, the amount of data it transfers. But that kind of took me out of the experience mainly um, because I didn't, didn't really think that that would be a problem. But it is. And that, that did it for me. But still, I think cloud gaming is the future. Uh, I will definitely keep looking into that and probably give on life another chance. But if you have a computer that's not really fast, then you can probably give it a go. And I think it's the right way because you also don't need any fast CPU or something. I could basically stream it on my laptop, which is an, an amazing thing. I should actually try it on a Mac. Does this, this run on a Mac? Can't tell you. Maybe leave me a comment and let me know if, if, if you know. Now we are coming to my favorite part, which is the review of the movie Dread. I've seen that in the cinema recently, and uh, it's surprisingly good. Uh, like, my brother dragged me into it, and I didn't really want to go, because I thought it's probably like a crappy remake, like all the other ones, like Total Recall that you see recently. But it was actually surprisingly good. It's like a, like a nice twist on all these 90s action movies, where you have this one superhero guy who just drops these one-liners all the time, and is basically permanently in control of the situation and that happens in like this really apocalyptic rundown over urbanized mega city so i i never read the the comics the original judge dread comics so i'm i'm not really fully into the whole story just seen the movie with sylvester stallone and from 95 and that was like mediocre i want to say however if you have time and money to see the new movie i would definitely recommend it it's quite brutal though uh, you know, in in the UK, you have to be 18 to see it, and I think that's very reasonable because it's it's quite violent, it's uh, visually stunning, it's not an extremely smart movie or anything. It's just a simple raw action movie um, that enjoys huge guns, one-liners, and you know, a, a really simple narrative basically. But I enjoyed that because I hadn't seen that in a while. And also visually, it's really stunning because they're using the super slow motion cameras uh, that everyone knows from YouTube where you see bullets flying through uh, apples. And, and they use that for, for quite simple things, but then they put these filters over it and it's just great to experience this, this super slow motion in 3D in a cinema. That was uh, really nice. Anyway, guys, I think this gameplay comes to an end, so I'm saying goodbye. If you like the video, give me a quick like or leave me a comment. That would be appreciated. Or you can also subscribe or follow me on Twitter. The link to my Twitter account should be down in the description. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye.